Hey everyone, this is Devin here, and today I have a really cool tutorial on um, matte painting, which is, um, I have a few examples, one of which is right here, and actually I'll be going over the scene in the tutorial. Um, you know, the stop, stop sign, I pretty much matte painted over it and got rid of the stop, and also another example of this is, uh, let's go back. Uh, here, initial experiment breakdown, pretty much with the truck floating up, um, see it's just matte painting like duplicates of layers and motion tracking and a bunch of cool stuff, so let's get started. All right. So I have the cinematic, um, I think it's query, so I'm going to drag into a new composition. Okay. Um, I'm going to right click and go to track camera and I'll come back when it finishes. Okay, finish tracking and also um, I kind of cut down the scene so that it's the portion that I want to use. So that way I didn't have to track the whole thing So, because it can take a while for tracking um, long scenes. Alright, so once I have this um, I want to track the stop sign. So I'm going to click on one of these points on the stop sign and right click and go to create null and camera. All right. If you click um, off of that and you click on the null, you can see that it's tracked um, pretty good onto the stop sign. So um, that's our first step. Actually, since that looks good, I can click on this and get rid of the camera tracker because we no longer need that. All right. Um, the next step is to take a texture that you want to track into a certain surface. So, um, like right here, I'm gonna take off one of the pieces from the red from the stop sign and place it over the stop. So pretty much, we get rid of that. And we could pretty we could do that for anything else in the scene, but just make sure on the motion track you. Uh, right click and do the null on the area of where you want to put the matte painting so um, I'm gonna go on an angle that isn't too distorted like right here is good the stop sign is looking pretty straight at us and I'm going to um, duplicate this original layer by clicking control D um, right click go to time and freeze frame okay so now it's pretty much frozen, but that's okay. Um, if you hide it, you'll see that everything is still okay. So I'm going to rename this to be uh, Matt 1. Alright. And get out your pen tool over here. Pen tool. And let's do a quick mask of this um, red area. And it doesn't have to be too big because we can duplicate it. Actually, uh, I'm going to do this part down here. Okay. Now, the next step is to make this a 3D layer, which um, if you don't see the option right here, click the toggle switches slash modes and then you'll see this little 3D box thing. Um, enable that okay um, now you can see that it's uh, obviously not tracking with the stop sign that's because it's not in the correct position so click on the track null and um, go down to transform and position click on position and go to edit copy minimize that go back to the mat that you just made and go to edit paste Okay, now it should be in the correct spot and it'll track, but it's super small. So click um, S for scale on the mat and scale it up to its around its original size. Okay, so now you can see that it um, motion tracks with the sign, and this is um, essentially a matte painting. That's um, you can go look up the definition of matte painting later, but. Um, 
pretty much what it is. It's combining different images to create um, your final composite. So, okay, um, on the mask right here, click N to go to mask and maximize this and increase the feather a little so that it blends in a little better. And you can always color correct it later, but I'm not going to bother with that too much. Okay. Set that over there. And I'm going to make um, Control D to duplicate them and make a few to kind of cover this up. Um, when I finish up, I'll come back. Okay, I finished up with that, and um, you can see these little um, splotches, but if you took a little more time on this with the masking and change stuff up, you could definitely get it to look a lot better. Yeah, change with change the feathering and stuff like that. So if I move these over a little, it'll look a little better. Okay. But now, if you uh, zoom out and you scroll through, you can see that there might be a, you might have to move some of these mats. The motion track isn't always perfect. See right here? Maybe you can just scale them up a little. Um, you could scale them all up at the same time by selecting all of them by selecting the first one and hold shift and select the last one. Select. Um, click S and increase the scale and then you can kind of drag them back in there okay so uh, that's the basics of matte painting and this is, can definitely be applied to a lot of other things like um, even just like making shadows and removing things that you don't want from the scene and stuff like that so Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe for future tutorials and thank you. Bye.